Hello Geometry! We're going to talk today about our first set of proofs, which we are going to do using UNO. I've told you before that um, we use logic a lot, especially with playing games. So I'm going to start us off by playing some games and learning some logic. Um, two column proofs is typically how we're going to do proofs, all right? That's how we're going to see them. There are other forms, but I find this one the, the most uh, straightforward. So in a two column proof, we have this nice T here. And on the left hand side, we have statements. In the game of Uno, that's your moves. That's what you do. That's uh, the card you play. And then on the left or uh, the right side here, we have our reasons. So that's when I ask you to justify. It's the why. It's the rule that you're following by playing that card. So when we come over here, let's remind ourselves of what the rules of Uno are. You can play the same color card to change the number. You can play the same number card to change the color and wild cards can change anything, right? So when we come back over here, um, I am going to give you a backwards or reverse card. I kind of made my own cards up. Um, so we've got a backwards card. That's what we've been given. So I'm just going to start right now with my statement um, saying a backwards card. And my reason is because it's given. All right. Our reason is always to start off with it. It's given. That's what we just have to start off with. That's just how it goes. So let me move that a little bit for you. There we go. So that's always what we start with is our given. And we are trying to prove, so this is where we're trying to go, is to a green eight. All right, we want to get to a green eight. We need to figure out which of our cards we need to play and in what order in order to prove that. So we're gonna start off nice and easy. This is our hand, all right? Our hand is a yellow three and a green three. So I am going to start, after I play this reverse card, I'm gonna play a yellow three. So that's my next statement, that's my move, yellow three. Well, why can I do that? Why is that okay? How does that follow the rules? Because we have the same color. Same color, different number, I should say. Different number. And now I'm going to play my green three. Right? That's my move. Why can I do that? They have the same number different colors. And then because we're trying to get to this, this green eight, I'm going to play my green eight next. Now here's the issue I see a lot when we start doing these proofs. I see a lot of students just write prove here. Never write prove as a reason. Okay. It's, it's nonsense. It's just nonsense. Okay. Never do it. It's a pet peeve of mine personally, but just never do it. So the green eight, why can I play that green eight? Well, I had a green three, and now I'm playing a green eight. So they are the same color. They are the same color. And that's our first proof, right? So let's try some more. And I'm just going to talk you through these. I'm not going to write them all down. I'm just going to talk you through them. So we have been given a green seven, right? We've been given a green seven. And we are trying to prove a yellow five. We're trying to prove a yellow five. Uh, maybe if I do that, it'll be easier to see colors. Probably not. So this is in our hand right now. This is what we have. All right. This is what we have. So green seven given. I'm going to play a green four. Why? Why can I do that? Same color. Then I'm going to play a red four. Why can I do that? Same number. Then I'm going to play a yellow four. Why can same number? And then I'm going to play a yellow five. Why can I do that? Same color. Now, some of you might look at me and say, well, wait a second. Do you even need to play that red four? No, you don't. Sometimes in geometry, I give you more than you need and that's okay, but you don't have to use it all. So we could play a green four, same color, yellow four, same number, and then a yellow five same color. So that works too. So 
Let's try a different one. Let's say we've been given a blue eight and we are trying to prove a red seven. All right, we've been given a blue eight. We're trying to prove a red seven. So this is what we have. We have a yellow two, a blue five, a yellow five, upside down, and then a red two. We need to figure out what order or what we need to play in order to get from a blue eight to a red seven. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play my blue five. So blue eight given, blue five, same color. Then I'm going to play my yellow five, same number. Then I'm going to play my yellow two, same color. Then my red two, same number. And then I can prove my red seven, same color. I hope that this helps. I hope you can see um, kind of how these proofs are built. Um, please email me if you have any questions. And I hope you have fun with this.